How's it going, Flight fans? It is Javier Cantu with SouthTexasContender.com. Got a very special guest with us this evening, Thomas Tribe, a rig announcer for big fights you've seen on, on ESPN, uh, Fox Sports, all over the place. Thomas, thanks for your time. Hey, thank you. Appreciate you having yeah. me here. No, oh, we really appreciate you uh, giving us a few minutes of your time to talk about tonight's events, but most importantly about your career. Uh, a fight fans know, how did you get started in the world of boxing? You know what, I started in my hometown uh, when I was finishing high school. I was actually a senior in high school, and a friend of mine uh, became a professional boxer. And I was interested in broadcasting. I was looking at going to school for radio, television, broadcasting, and just got the idea. I said, you know, it looks like something I'd like to do. Talked to my friend. He got me started locally with the promoter that was doing shows in my hometown. And then I eventually started to travel and then do television and just, you know, grew from there. Did you ever see yourself doing this when you were youth? Or uh, when you got started, did you think it would get to this point? I, you know, I didn't think I'd be doing it 24 years later. I was 17 years old when I started. I'm 41 now. Uh, it's been wonderful. I've been to places I never thought I would ever go to. Uh, I've worked in about 10 countries at this time. So uh, very thankful for the places I've been, all the great people I've met all over the world. And uh, it's so cool to get to be so close to the action and get to interact with all the people part of the sport. So I consider myself very fortunate, but no, I never thought all these years later it would. When I started doing it, I never thought I'd be doing it all these years later. 24 years in the business. What are the goals that you have to accomplish for yourself, if one may ask, in the sport of boxing? Considering you've traveled internationally, what else is there to do? To, uh, to well, I mean, I, I'd like to continue to get the opportunity to do bigger and bigger fights. Um, Know, I'd certainly love to one day do a, a mega fight, um, but really, I, I just enjoy what I do. I'm thankful for every opportunity I get. I just want to keep doing what I'm doing and uh, see what the future holds. You know, I'm pretty sure you'll get there considering how long you've been in this career and where you're going, and especially, you know, the trajectory you're on. But, final question, what do you suggest to people, including myself, somebody who's trying to bust into the business of boxing, they can move forward with that. Well, you know, I mean, being persistent, uh, never giving up, you know, uh, there's going to be obstacles. I I've had a lot of obstacles through my career. I've had some good years, some bad years, but the one thing I never did was I never gave up. And I think staying around and, and trying my best every time I get an opportunity through those ropes, that's the all you can do is give 100% every time you're doing whatever you want to do in the sport. And good things will happen. Thomas, we're about to get started here. We want to uh, thank you for giving us a few minutes of your time. Thank you. We very much appreciate it. And I'm sure all the fans out there appreciate it. If you have not seen Thomas Kreiber, uh, ring announcer, on Fox Sports, on ESPN, you can catch him tonight on ESPN, on uh, HBO Latino. We're here in San Antonio at the Freeman Coliseum covering Vargas versus Tomlinson. Keep up with us.